My name is Dr. Tashi Pasupati. I'm a senior clinical research fellow with the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and the University of Adelaide. Minoca is a scientific term refers to myocardial infarction with non-obstructive coronary arteries. It is a type of heart attack. So the heart attack usually happens because of cholesterol blockages in the heart artery that supplies blood and essential nutrients to the heart muscle. And the typical treatment for usual heart attacks with blockages is to open up these blockages and to treat, provide medical treatment to uh, prevent it from happening again. In Minoca, we don't have a coronary artery block. One in ten uh, heart attack patients can be identified as Minoka, and Minoka patients tend to be younger and females. The diagnosis of Minoka is at the time of coronary angiogram. A patient comes in with classical symptoms of heart attack and they will have additional blood tests, ECGs, they all would confirm that it's a, it's a heart attack. And then they'll go to have this coronary angiogram procedure to see where is this blockage or to identify a blockage. And when they don't have the blockage, that's when the diagnosis is made as Minoka. This is a patient, this did have a heart attack, didn't have a blockage. Coronary angiogram is a procedure that is like an x-ray-like procedure where we can visualize the coronary arteries that supplies the blood to the heart muscle. It can only see the big arteries that supplies the blood. We cannot visualize the smaller vessels. Um, so it, it helps us see where when there is a blockage, it can help us identify the blockage. Once we identify the underlying cause, there is already treatment that has been established to treat that underlying cause. For example, if we find that this patient has coronary artery spasm, then the treatment would be calcium channel blockers. We have been working on projects to understand the characteristics of these patients. We have been working on studies that is looking at underlying cause of these patients. And also we have been involved in clinical trials that um, looking at the treatment strategies for these patients.